Whether you're new to Rocketbook's notebooks or have been using them for years, you're probably familiar with destinations. These are the different services that you can connect to the seven symbols that run along the bottom of the executive and letter size notebooks to help expedite your scanning process. The concept is pretty simple. In the Rocketbook app, you can configure which save location you want to correspond to each symbol. Then when you scan your notes, it will automatically send your documents there. In this video, I want to take a deeper dive into the different destination settings to show what services can be connected and how your save options vary depending on which you use, because as it turns out, not all destinations are created equally. One of the things that I love about my Rocketbooks is that the company has continued to add new features and destinations over time. As of May 2020, the destination services supported by the Rocketbook app can be broken down into five categories. The first is what I would call messaging. This includes sending your scanned files via email, or if you're on iOS, iMessage. Alternatively, you could save your scanned files in cloud storage systems like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Box, and again, if you're on iOS, iCloud. Then you have digital notebook services, which include Evernote and OneNote, followed by the collaborative working sites, Trello and Slack. Finally, if you're on Android, you also have the ability to save your scans directly to an album within your phone's photo gallery. Your files will appear a little different in each destination depending on how the platform supports file viewing and integration for the different formats. To configure your destinations, you'll want to navigate to the destination section, which on Android can be found through the left side menu. Once there, you simply click on one of the seven notebook icons to configure it. The default option is email, but you can change this by selecting Change Destination, then following the steps to connect the service that you want to use. This is also where you'll have the ability to configure your destination settings as they pertain to file type, auto sending, and OCR transcription. But these are only available for some of the services. The Rocketbook app supports saving your scanned files in one of five ways. The first is simply saving as a JPEG image file. This is the most basic format and is supported universally across all of the different destinations. You also have the option of grouping multiple pages together as JPEGs if you scan them all at the same time and have the bundle option selected, but this is only supported for the digital notebook services, since you can't really create a multi-page JPEG, so these services just group sequential scans together within a note or page of a digital notebook. Alternatively, you can opt for your scan to be saved as a PDF file which is supported by everything except for the Android gallery. This time, by selecting the bundle option, you can have your scanned pages merged into a single PDF file when they're scanned together. And this works for all of the PDF supported services. Or you could save your scans as a GIF, but this is only supported for email, iMessage, Google Drive, Trello, and Android Gallery. And though there's no official bundle checkbox, GIFs are multi-page files, so you can create a little animation by scanning multiple pages sequentially within a batch. Between the different formats, PDF will create the largest file size followed by JPEG and then GIF. You can also revisit your files in the app scan history where you can resend them or send them to other destinations with alternative settings because the app just converts your files when they're sent, which is handy, but keep in mind that this history isn't backed up anywhere, so you'll lose it if you switch devices or uninstall the app. And if you opt to resend a file to the same destination, you'll just get a duplicate, it won't replace the existing file. You may also be interested in how your scans actually appear once they're saved. For email and iMessages, your scanned file is simply sent as an attachment. The email option gives you the ability to send to up to five recipients at once, and the email comes from notes at email.getrocketbook. While with iMessages, you can select multiple recipients as well, though I didn't notice an upper limit, and they come from the account associated with your device. For the cloud storage destinations, your scans will simply be saved as files within the folder that you select. Nothing too fancy. This is the same for the Android gallery option. But for the digital notebooks, it's a little different. You select which notebook or notebook section you want to save your file to in Evernote or OneNote respectively. Then your files will become notes or pages within those destinations. It's also worth mentioning that if you don't opt to bundle your scans, each file becomes its own note or page whereas bundled scans place all of the images from a bundle into the same note or page. Alternatively, for Trello, you select which list on a given Trello board that you want to send the file to, then each file becomes its own card on that list. It's worth noting that the PDF files won't have any preview available on the card face, whereas JPEGs and GIFs will be visible. Similarly, for Slack, 
you can send your files to either channels or users where similar to Trello, JPEGs will be visible while PDFs will simply be attachments. The second destination setting is Auto Send. This is available for all destinations and simply skips the final scanning steps where you can preview the file and alter its name. It's one more way that you can speed up your scanning, but I don't use it much because I like to review my scans before sending them off and Auto Send is not compatible with bundled scans or with GIFs. The newest feature for destinations is the ability to transcribe your scan notes using Rocketbook's optical character recognition, which searches your scans for letters and numbers. This is very handy if you want a text backup of your notes, but keep in mind that it isn't meant for drawings, so if you have figures or charts within your scan, you may end up with some gibberish in the transcript file. You'll also want to be comfortable with your notes being transferred to Rocketbook servers because that's where they're transcribed. Currently, this feature is only available for email, Google Drive, Evernote, and OneNote, and works a little differently for each one. With email, you can opt to have your transcribed text sent in the body of the email with your scan attached as a separate file. Or you could opt to send two attachments, your scanned file and a .txt file of the transcript. For Google Drive, if you select one file JPEG, then you get a .docx document that contains your scanned image in line above the text transcript. Or you can choose to send two files, in which case your scan will just be sent in its normal format, JPEG or PDF, but you'll also get a .docx document containing just the text transcript. These same one and two file options are available for Evernote and OneNote as well, where you'll either get your transcribed text below the JPEG in Evernote or to the left of the JPEG in OneNote. Alternatively, if you choose the two file option, your image file, JPEG or PDF, will become one note or page and your transcribed text will become another. And if it's a bundled scan, then the text gets separated by a line indicating which page it was from. And that's a quick overview of the different destination settings for your Rocketbook notebooks. The only other thing I'll mention is that you can also enable handwriting recognition, OCR, generally for all of your scans through the app settings in order to have an invisible transcript embedded within the saved file. During a scan, transcription is limited to 16 pages or less in a single bundle, but you can select larger files afterwards from the scanned history and choose to transcribe the whole thing there before sending it off. This allows your notes to be keyword searchable within the Rocketbook app and at their final destination if that service supports within file searching, which Google Drive, OneDrive, Evernote, and OneNote should. You can also select any file from your scan history and send it using your device's general share options if the service you want is not yet supported within the Rocketbook destinations. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'll leave links to some of the Rocketbook notebooks and accessories in the description below in case you want to pick something up. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.